Well, welcome into the Danny Servant's pregame show. Glad you're joining us for this ball game tonight against the Waco Lions. Always a tough battle when you take on the Waco Lions, but we have to go back to last week against Shoemaker. Just uh, not everything went your way, Coach. You had some kids get banged up in the ball game, uh, some calls not go your way, and some big plays uh, by the uh, opponent, Shoemaker. Yeah, um, you're exactly right. I mean, it was a hard fought ball game. They really played a great ball game. Coach had them ready to play, and. Uh, you know, we're just uh, still trying to figure things out. We've got a lot of young kids, and uh, we just got to have them grow up in a hurry. Yep, and, uh, of course, uh, your uh, staff here has uh, done a great job on getting these kids healed up, getting them uh, taped up and getting them all ready to go. A lot of treatments going on and uh, stuff like that. You kind of wish that bye week, of course, man, that came too early for you. That Now we wish we had it. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I've had it at the end of the season. I've had it at the beginning of the season. I've had it in the middle. And, um, man, we do need it now, uh, you know, with as many guys we have banged up. But, you know, it is what it is. We, we're working hard, uh, trying to correct the things that we can control, correct and change the things that we can, change the things that we can't, you know, can't worry about it. And so uh, we just got to be ready to play on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Even in in a loss, there's a bright spot. There's always bright spots. What'd you see? Well, I'll tell you what. Keyshawn Meeks is still playing. I mean, out of this world. Uh, you know, he's just incredible. Has a nose for the football. Great leader on the defensive side of the ball. And you know, we're seeing some improvement in our offensive line. That's one of the places that uh, you know, we talked about uh this year needing improvement. And uh, you know, Aiden Uresti and uh, Kenneth Jones, people like that, they've done a terrific job. Trenton Price, they've done a terrific job on the offensive line. So, you know, that's um, some positives, and so we want to continue to get better there. Well, I am come in and we're watching Waco on the uh, on the huddle, uh, watching Waco play uh, different teams. Uh, you've been watching them pretty close. What are you seeing? Well, they're an athletic football team. They've got a couple of guys that are really, really athletic and um, they throw and catch the ball well, and they've got a running back. When he gets going downhill, you got to get behind your pads because uh, he runs the ball with bad intentions. And on defense, they really do get after you. Um, they've got some line stunts and linebacker uh, blitzes that they'll send at you, and uh, you got to be able to pick those things up. And like I said, they, they really do get after you. So uh, we've got to go on the road and, and be ready to play. WISD Stadium, of course, has always got a good crowd on hand for Waco High because they're coming back up from their um, really losing season that they've had. They're getting better all the time. Yeah, so they they're going to have a crowd there, too. Yeah, they are. They are getting better. And, uh, you know, you can just see it on film. Uh, they're starting to get confidence. And it's almost like they're starting to buy into what their coach is selling. And, uh, you know, they've got a lot of kids that. Um, they've lost, you know, to places like La Vega and they don't have the kids that they've had in the past, but you can see them starting to come back. And like I said, they're buying into what coaches, uh, is teaching. And so, um, they're beginning to be a team that's going to be reckoned with in the near future. And so, you know, you got to be ready to play going in there. One thing I've noticed, these kids aren't getting down. They're still ready to go. When they're ready to come out of that tunnel the other night for the ball game, that, that team was ready to play some football. And when they walked off the field, they were still, um, hey, we'll get them next time. We got next week. Let's keep rolling. This is only one. Let's keep it going. Well, you know, that's, uh, you know, I've never seen our, guy, our guys um, not have that intestinal fortitude to continue to fight. They're tough. Uh, they're resilient. Uh, they play with their hearts, and so, uh, you know, it was good to see that, you know, and I really expect for them to come back this week and, and play a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you got the support. I tell you, Mr. Dominguez running all over the place. I think I saw him on the field and up in the press box, and uh, I tell you what, that guy is a, is a true green eagle. I tell you what, he really is, and, um, you know, when you take a position, the first thing you ask about is the administration, you know, mm -hmm. and how they are. And, um, you know, he's been nothing but supportive uh, as far as uh, our football team and our coaches are concerned. And we really appreciate the staff 
uh, that we have here at Ellison High School. Yeah, and I got to meet the new baseball coach, too. I said, I'm ready to work with him uh, come baseball season, too. Yeah, we're excited about Coach Johnson. You know, he's coming to us from Copper's Cove, and uh, he's just like one of the guys now and was a good fit for us. And so we're we're looking forward to seeing uh, what we do during the baseball season. Yeah, I love your coaching staff. A bunch of great guys, and they always acknowledge me, and I always appreciate that. And, uh, and your fans. Your fans are still there at the ball game, buddy. They're not going anywhere. These Eagle fans are loyal, and they're sticking with you. Booster Club, wonderful people. They're doing great things. And with the team meals that they're getting together, that is just a group effort that is just phenomenal. I'll tell you what it really is, you know, and we appreciate them so much and what they do for our kids, what they do for our coaches, and uh, the support that we get from them. And, uh, you know, we just want to continue to see them come out and, 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 and you know, uh, get behind these young men and uh you know we'll we'll continue to work hard for them and uh we're going to see good things happen well if i have any college scout friends out there listening into this show you need to come check out some of these kids at ellison high school not only the seniors this year but the class of of uh 25 i guess this is the class of 24 25, right. 25 26. and 26. Yes. They have some great kids. Uh, so we're going to be nothing but sunshine and puppy dogs here before we know it. We just got to get through the rough patch and uh, got to start with Waco. So we need to get that win at Waco, Coach. If you need me to suit up, I can play probably three downs and basically just get in the way. <laughs> you know what? I might need you three downs this week. So uh, don't be too far away. We might get you suited up. Well, we appreciate you and everything you do here at Ellison High School. And uh, one thing you do is you uh, mold young men. And we can never thank you enough for that because when you think of Ellison, you think of a class. And um, that's the way it's been and that's the way you keep it. We appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. Uh, You know, I think that's, you know, really my calling is to uh, try to make sure that our kids are uh, doing things the right way and, and uh, trying to impact their lives in a positive way. And uh, if I can continue to do that, winning football games is going to come. And so uh, it'll be the perfect the perfect storm. Well, we appreciate you, buddy. Thank you as always. And I always give you the last word. Go Eagles. You are watching I-14 Sports Network.